كنت نتصور يا جمال لا مهم بعد خمس سنين So my name is Frida Marzouk. I'm a cinematographer. Project uh, I worked on is Under the Fig Trees of Eri Sahiri. So what happens is that uh, to go to the field, to the fig field, women are getting transported in some not very safe trucks. Basically, there's no there's no safety. They're just standing in the back. You put as many people as you can, and you just transport them to work. And in Tunisia, what happens is that a few times a year there's an accident and women die from getting transported this way. So that's where it started, like it sparked in her, in her idea that um, she needs to talk about this thing, the social issue. But she made it in a very light way by also adding real life. It's not dramatic, it's just she wanted to talk about it but without making it a drama. So it's all handheld, yes, uh, all of it is handheld and we actually did Uh, because it's shot like a documentary in a way, is that we did, mm, you know, takes that can last 40 minutes or however the card, however long the card is, uh, because she just wanted to follow them around for whatever they had to say and let them improvise. So it was not like, okay, we're gonna just do this take, you're gonna say this or that. It was just like they were saying whatever they wanted as long as it stayed with, within her idea of the scene. So. I chose uh, Airy because, you know, Airy Mini because it's obviously it's compact and I knew I was going to work with highlights, low light, you know, I didn't, I didn't have any equipment so I, I needed to do everything with the camera so, I, you know, Airy is basically the most reliable, I think. And then in terms of, um, of lenses, I chose the Airy Ultra Prime because At the rental house, those were the ones that were opening the fastest lenses, 1.9. Like in case we need to shoot early evening or early morning, I needed something that could basically be usable everywhere. We couldn't have equipment because we were in a field, there was no money, uh, and we had, we had a lot of lights. Basically all you have is light. So it's more about taking light down than adding light. What happens in the fig field, so it's very big. So what happened is that I decided that I just was going to follow the sun around. And basically the director was okay with us moving a scene from one side to the other side of a field. Like let's say in the morning we were in the east, we start shooting something. And if we know we run out of time to finish the scene or, or something, we would say, okay, we come back at 3 p.m., but we're going to go on the other side of the field. And you wouldn't know because it's trees, so nobody will notice that you know we went from one side to the other. So it was basically just playing with the with the trees and the sun. The thing that happens like a documentary in this shoot is that we were doing endless takes because you know when you shoot documentary, you're just trying to get what you can, and you're just rolling and rolling, and then later on you make sense of it in the editing. And we had we had this approach of like filming as much as possible and see what comes out of it. So I think that's the closest thing to documentary making that uh, we had in the process. Also, I think the freedom that I had because, because maybe she comes from documentary, uh, Erige, uh, she let me actually move around, uh, move around the characters because you know, there's 10 characters at least in this film. And when you have scenes with many people, she just would, she didn't tell me like do this or that. I would just go around and try to catch people when they're talking or maybe when they're listening because you can't catch everyone with one camera. So I think that kind of like uh, filming is documentary style too because you don't know who's going to speak. Uh, you don't know where they're going to be talking. Is the light going to be good this way? You have to move around so that it makes some sense. And I think that makes it a little bit of a documentary style. You know, I think I just want to maybe add an advice for people who want to do this, actually, because I wish somebody told me this, a few things. Um, I really believe that it's good to touch lights to understand it. I know a lot of cinematographers go through the AC route and camera, camera but I really feel like um, touching your instrument and knowing how to use it yourself is a big uh, asset because you can find yourself in situations where you don't have a crew, where, where you have to do things yourself and it's really good to know.